So uh, I'm sure you guys remember how there were white supremacists in Charlottesville a few days ago. They did a KKK-like rally with torches. Um, but they actually, you know, did a shortcut and used tiki torches instead of like the old school torches. Um, so it looked kind of funny because here are these like supposedly tough, uh, white guys, these white supremacists or white nationalists. And, um, they look like they're on Gilligan's Island. <laughs> they're just holding, holding up their tiki torches. And by the way, the number the 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 number of hilarious tweets that were sent out showing the pictures of these like young uh white guys who are super angry and clearly white supremacists or white nationalists and like how everybody was just ripping on them. I was getting in on the fun. There's a one picture of like, you know, all of them in a row holding up the tiki torches. And I <laughs> And I said something like, when they won't make a new season of Friends. <laughs> but it's not just me, it's everybody. When the cafeteria runs out of mayo, like, stuff like that was just all over the fucking place. Um, but, guess what happened now? This is, this is funny. Uh, the company, Tiki, <laughs> disavowed them. So they said on Facebook, Tiki brand is not associated in any way with the events that took place in Charlottesville and are deeply saddened and disappointed. We do not support their message or the use of our products in this way. Our products are designed to enhance backyard gatherings and to help family and friends connect with each other at home in their yard. Wow, man. That's got to like set a record for loserdom. Like, Tiki, which is like, I don't know, like a D-list company. They felt the need to come out and disasso disassociate themselves from these fucking losers who go out there and act like they're so oppressed. That's the other thing about this. I find it funny that people on the, you know, the far right, in one breath they say, Well, yeah, identity politics is so wrong and so bad and so stupid and so dumb and we gotta get rid of identity politics, it's the worst thing ever. And then next breath they're like, Oh! White people are so victimized, and we need to band together around white identity and have, uh, white identity politics. Wait, which is it? I thought you said identity politics is horrible and bad and nobody should do it, and then in the next breath you're like, We're so triggered by your microaggression of not letting us keep up, uh, statues of fucking slave owners and confederate traitors. So, oh my god, we're so pressed. White lives matter! White lives matter! <laughs> that was one of the chants they were doing, uh, the other day. As somebody pointed out, imagine these guys ever face actual oppression. <laughs> How they would respond in the face of actual oppression. Um, yeah, that's another level of sad. The company Tiki. <laughs> Nothing fucking D-list company Tiki's like, yeah, these guys are losers and we want nothing to do with them, so we, we disassociate ourselves from this nonsense. I said it the other day, I'll say it one more time. Imagine having the thing that you get super mad at be the removal of a Confederate statue 152 years after they lost the war. Now, look, if they put these statues and this Confederate regalia and stuff in a, in a museum, oh, then I'm 100% on the side of don't fucking, you know, don't take it away from there. It is a part of history. Of course you could see it in a museum. But it's the fact that this shit is, like, in front of courthouses and stuff. That's the problem. The fact that it's put up is like, Let's revere Robert E. Lee! No, fuck that guy. He's a traitor. A slave-owning traitor who wanted to uphold a system of slavery. So, yeah, no. The, <laughs> taking that down is only the most common-sense position. It's like taking down a fucking statue of Goebbels or Himmler in Germany. So the fact that- imagine being one of those people. You're getting so triggered that, Oh my god, you're taking down a statue of that guy! <laughs> That says everything you need to know about the intelligence level of these people. 